So the beekeeper has found queen cells with larvae and royal jelly in them and that's a sign that the bees are about to swarm. So he is going to create an artificial swarm. So what he does, he takes the colony and he moves the colony to the side. And in its place, he puts an empty box. And all this box has in it is frames with foundation. With no drawn hole. Now the bees use their homing system, their sat nav system, to always come back to a given position. So these bees will always be coming back to this position. So what the beekeeper does now, he goes back to the original colony and he has to find the frame with the queen. There she is, she's on this frame. So the beekeeper makes sure there's no queen cells on there and he takes the queen on her frame and puts it into the new brood box. He now needs to find another frame of sealed brood because bees when they swarm naturally always take with them young bees and he's going to give them the next best thing, bees that will emerge in a week or so. And that's the artificial swarm. Mm -hmm. Now he puts back on the queen excluder, and he puts back on the honey super, and he puts on the crown board, and he puts on the root. And this is the artificial swarm. Mm -hmm. so, so in the artificial swarm, the flying bees return, remember about a third of the colony, and they come in here and find their queen in this more or less empty box and they think we've got a queen, we've got an empty home, we must have swarmed. So they're happy they won't swarm again that year. And what will happen in this box The young bees, because these will only have nurses left, because all the flying bees will come out and go back here, because they know where home is, the ones that can fly. The nurses have never been out of the hive, so they don't know this is home. So they just stay on their combs. And they will quickly detect that they have no queen, and they'll start to produce a new queen which they can do provided they've got an egg or a very young larvae, a larvae less than two days old. So they'll produce themselves a queen and they'll be just a nice quiet colony for several weeks until they develop to the stage of flying and then they'll start flying out and getting food. <laughs> After a fortnight the young queen will emerge. Once the young queen has emerged after five days she'll go on a mating flight and she'll mate with up to 14 drones. She stores their sperm in a little vesicle in her body called the spermatheca and that will last her for the rest of her life, up to five years. When she lays an egg she can release some sperm onto it and that egg will become a female, either a worker or another queen bee. If she withholds sperm from it, it will become a male, a drone. So the drones are funny guys, they only have half a gene set. They have a mother, but they don't have a father. And that's not unusual in the insect world. So we close up this hive. It's got food in it, I checked for food in the combs. And we just move it away 
a distance. And in about a fortnight's time, they'll produce a young queen. And these guys are the artificial swarm, and they'll go on working, and they think they've swarmed, so they don't want to swarm again this year. So we've tricked the bees uh, to prevent them from swarming and going off and finding a home in a hollow tree somewhere and taking all their honey with them.